Today is the start of a Team Go Rocket takeover, which means we have new Shadow Pokemon and new Shadow Shiny Pokemon. But instead of going out and trying to find them, I'm going to start right here because I have Sierra in a balloon. The Team Go Rocket leaders' lineups are set in the morning when they first appear, and that means that they still have the old lineups. If you find a Team Go Rocket leader at a Pokestop on the first day of a Team Go Rocket takeover, they'll usually have the old lineups, the old Shadow Shiny Pokemon. But in the balloons, they'll have the new ones. I'm just gonna go in with this party. Lucario usually works for everything when it comes to Team Go Rocket, unless it's weak to a move that they're using, which might be the case here because Sierra's new lead is Trap Inch. It's a ground type Pokemon. So if there's a ground type move here, yep, that's bad. All right, we're, you know what? We're gonna leave. So let's run that back one more time. What I'm gonna do is bring an Ice type in the lead for the Trap Inch and then we'll just do everything with Lucario, probably. Trap Inch is one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon. In fact, is my second? I don't know. It's one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon and being the lead for Sierra's lineup here means that it can finally be shiny as a shadow Pokemon. Shadow, shiny, Trap Inch. Probably my number one target for this round of Team Go Rocket leaders. Save a little bit of HP on the Darmanitan for whatever reason. What's the last Pokemon? Oh, Houndoom. Easy. Guess we don't need Darmanitan for that. So here we go. First, Shadow Trap Inch, Shiny Check. No, that's fine. Oh, it's Weather Boosted, which means it'll have better IVs, probably. But out of the Team Go Rocket leaders lineups and their Shadow Pokemon for this round, this takeover, the Trap Inch is not very good. It's uh, not strong enough. Wow. I'm gonna save that, that's a good one. It's not strong enough to be like a top tier ground or dragon type attacker once it's fully evolved. Uh, it could potentially have some interesting niche play in PVP, but overall, not that great. Well, I decided it probably just made more sense to wait for the leaders on day two. So here we are, day two of the Team Go Rocket takeover, which means all the leaders today have their new lineups and we can work on this special research. I need to defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts, which is why I'm standing right here, because there are three Team Go Rocket Grunts. Oh, the ice type Grunt has Shadow Swine up. Shadow Mamoswine is still one of the best ice type attackers in Pokemon Go. So I would say if you can find this Grunt during this round of Team Go Rocket lineups, definitely look for it. I'm gonna battle the rest of these grunts here, but before I do that, let's take a quick look at the grunt lineups currently and see which ones are even worth looking for. So the normal type male grunt can have both Teddy Ursa and Stantler, both of which can be shiny if you're hunting shiny shadow Pokemon. The ice type female grunt that we just saw can have Swinub in the lead. Again, Shadow Mamoswine is a fantastic Pokemon to have. The fighting type female grunt can have Shadow Machop, so you don't even have to battle Cliff for it. You can get Shadow Machop from the fighting type Grunt. The flying type female Grunt can have Gligar, Shadow Gligar, which can be shiny, but since it's the second Pokemon in the lineup, it's rarer to find that as the encounter after the battle. The bug type male Grunt can have Scyther, which can be shiny. That's in the first slot, so it's fairly common. The dragon type female Grunt can have both Dratini and Bagon, both of which can be shiny, both of which are good dragon type attackers, Shadow Salamence, Shadow Dragonite, both useful Pokemon, so definitely a good grunt to look for. The fairy type female grunt can have Mawile, which can be shiny, and Ralts, which is a great fairy type attacker, Shadow Gardevoir. And the decoy grunt still has Bellsprout, which can be shiny. So if you want to hold on to your super rocket radar and fight uh, decoy grunts before battling Giovanni, you can shiny hunt that Bellsprout. Before I battle these grunts, there is uh, one cool feature of this event is that Vullaby is spawning in the wild. I don't think we've ever had this in the wild before. Maybe like during a go fest or something, but just during a normal event globally, I don't think this has ever been available before. So now is probably the best time to shiny hunt this Pokemon if you're trying to get it. It's not a common spawn, it's pretty rare, but at least you can see it on the nearby and track it down compared to like trying to hatch 12 kilometer eggs, which takes forever and it's not even guaranteed. Ooh, there's another one. Maybe it's more common than I thought. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go catch that and battle these grunts. Six grunts done, five Pokemon purified. 
Give me all these items. Pokemon reward for this step is mischievous. Did I hit it? All right, Professor, what's next? The leaders, right? Defeat Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra. And good news, Arlo's right here. So this Arlo, now that it's day two, should have the new lineup with Cacnea in the lead. And uh, let's see, I wanna bring some rock types, maybe some ice. And I feel like he always has scissor in the back, like 90% of the time. So I'm just gonna bring Moltres, just in case. Let's go Darmadamtan, the Shundo. And well, it's a good thing I brought rock types, but we'll just get the shields down first. Here we go. Was I right? Was I wrong? Is it scissor? It feels like it's always scissor. Is that just me? Oh, this will be my first Shadow Cacnea shiny check. No, it's decent IVs. Unfortunately, Shadow Cacnea is not strong enough to be useful. All right, Cliff and Sierra. Ooh, there's a triple, a cl cluster of rockets. Let's go. So we've got two Sierras and an Arlo, which means, I mean, I can battle Sierra. This will be the same lineup as the balloon yesterday, so should be pretty easy. Oh, it's a Darmadam Tan sweep. You'll love to see it. All right, here we go. Another Shadow Trap and Shiny check. No, but that means all that's left is Cliff. So we gotta go find him. He's out here somewhere. One more thing to look out for during the event are these two field research tasks. Defeat four Team Go Rocket Grunts and defeat a Team Go Rocket Leader. Take a look at Leak Duck right here with the rewards. Four Grunts could be Dino or Volibi, and a Leader could be Ponyard or Volibi. Aside from Dino, Volibi and Ponyard, both Pokemon that have been typically pretty difficult to get shiny or to even shiny hunt. So if you can pick up a couple copies of these tasks while you're out battling Grunts and Leaders, you get a couple extra shiny checks in for those Pokemon. Plenty of grunts around. There's also a leader right up here. So let's see, hopefully that's Cliff. It's Sierra, so I'll battle a grunt. I cannot find Cliff anywhere. I've had to walk all the way down around double back. I'm headed towards the pike now, but maybe that's a good thing because I just found, I just found shiny volibi. Shiny Volibi in the wild. Let's go. See, I told you, now's a good time to hunt it. I can't believe I got it. I, I feel so lucky. So, Shiny Volibi. IVs, mediocre, but it's a Shiny. Caught in the wild. It is, oh, it's not my first one though. No, because I traded Zoe for this one. So it's technically, it's still the first one that I've caught. That was a trade. All right, now, if one of these five rockets ahead could be Cliff, this day would just keep getting better. Well, lucky me, the first one that I can reach is Cliff. So Cliff leads with Shadow Machop, got Aerodactyl, Crobat, maybe like uh, Electric, Electric might be okay. So we'll just go with this, the tried and true Lucario. We'll have a uh, Togekiss for fairy type damage. But honestly, I think Lucario is gonna be fine here. Oh, not, nope, not like that. That's bad. I'm going back with the same lineup, but the plan is to insta-switch to Togekiss. There we go. Then we avoid damage on Lucario, get rid of the Machop that's dealing super effective damage to the Lucario, and then we, we should be fine from here. Oh, perfect. Togekiss loves to see Kingdra. That was one of the Pokemon that I brought it for. And the last Pokemon, whoop, oh my god, Toge it's a Togekiss sweep. Okay, near sweep and a Lucario cleanup. That's all three leaders defeated. Shiny check him a chop real quick. Nope, IV check. Oh, terrible, terrible. So before we get to the special research, let's just get a couple more checks here. Yeah, it was Dino, Dino. We wanted to see Volibi there, but I guess I got the shiny, so we're good. And then on the other one, we have Ponyard. All right, now we can claim all the XP here, get the super rocket radar and we'll move on to the Giovanni step. Find, battle, and defeat the boss. Giovanni, where are you? All right, cool, cool. That Pokestop right there across the street is a potential Giovanni, but all these fences are set up for the Grand Prix. The Long Beach Grand Prix is coming up, so I can't reach it from here. Oh, there we go. Come on, please be Giovanni. No, 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 no. It, oh, it is. And since the fences are set up 
there's nowhere for me to put my camera down except for on the floor. So, Giovanni's team, Persian, Kingdra, Garchomp, Rhyperior, Groudon. I'm bringing Lucario, of course, and then Water and Fairy, and that should cover everything. Persian is sometimes a little tough for Lucario. Okay, good, not very effective. That's what we like to see. We'll just power up, power up, power up, get the shields down. And honestly, we'll just let Lucario go to work. Can we get to a Shadow Ball? If this is a ground type move, we're dead. It's not. Whew. All right, that's less damage than I thought it was gonna be, but that's fine. We'll go with Togekiss, Fairy Damage, and then resist the dragon attacks. And we'll just let Togekiss get as much damage in before it faints, like that. And then we'll close it out with Kyogre. Earthquake, that could be devastating if I didn't have a shield, but we're good. So, of course, the Pokemon here is going to be Shadow Groudon, a great Shadow Pokemon. One of the best we've had in a while. It can't be shiny yet, but if I can get one with good IVs, it's, it's tiny. I thought it was huge. I guess it's a huge Pokemon to begin with. It's a tiny Shadow Groudon. Size doesn't matter, though. We care about IVs. Excellent throw. Shadow Groudon with Precipice Blades, which you would have to use an Elite TM to get. Uh, it is one of the best ground type attackers. So there's my extra, extra small Shadow Groudon with, you know, pretty good IVs. For a Shadow Pokemon, that's actually great. A 0% IV Shadow Pokemon will outperform a 100% non-Shadow Pokemon of the same species. The shadow damage boost is just that strong. So when you're evaluating shadow Pokemon IVs, you can lower your standards a little bit. Two star shadow is great. All right, so with that, we'll grab all these items. The encounter here is Krogunk. And finally, 15, 3,000, 4,500 Sarda, 6,000 XP, a silver Pinat Berry, and we're done. Team Go Rocket is taken care of for now. Of course, with any Team Go Rocket takeover, don't forget to TM frustration off of your shadow Pokemon. Any good shadow Pokemon that you catch during the event or that you've been saving since the last event, make sure to use a TM, get rid of frustration. You can only do that during Team Go Rocket takeovers. So if you get a good Groudon, TM frustration off of it. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now while I remember. And uh, thanks for watching. If I missed anything for the event, drop a comment, let me know, help your other fellow trainers out. I'll see you in the next one.